Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and this is my weekly plan with me in my A5 Stalogy. And this week I am using a kit from Shine Sticker Studio. This is the week of Valentine's Day, so I got the super cute kit um, a couple months ago when they released it, um, saving it for Valentine's Day. So uh, this is the week of February 8th through the 14th. So uh, I just started out like I normally do, um, writing out my, or marking out my spacing for my columns, and then just drew those real quick, um, and I sped it up, but decided to go ahead and leave it in, in case you're new here, and you wonder how I set up my pages. Um, I have had some questions about, um, like, on Instagram, whether I use the Hobonichi Cousin, so, um, I figured if I just kind of started leaving that process in. Maybe it might help kind of answer some questions that way, so. Uh, and then I started just by putting down the bottom washi there, and this kit is actually sized for the Hobonichi Cousin. And um, so you kind of see that the spacing is pretty good uh, on this. So, but the one thing I did struggle with this week is <laughs> I had like a, oh, I don't even know what you would call it, like a, just a little mini, not really a meltdown, but just a little bit of a, I don't know. So I'm putting down the stickers like I usually do, and I just, I got to this point where, you know, some of them overlap, because the Cousin is actually a little bit wider than the Stalogy, as far as like the boxes and the spacing of everything, and so some of the stickers I had to overlap, and I was just like, Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's driving me crazy. This um, sticker paper that I got with this kit is that her um, like vinyl, so it's really soft and pliable and it peels up great if you need to change something. Um, but you could kind of tell where it was overlapping. Anyway, I was like, you know, I'm about ready just to go back to the cousin because at least I know that these kits would fit in here. <laughs> I wouldn't have to overlap, wouldn't have to cut anything. Yeah, between that and my memory journal, I'm just all out of whack. So, anywho, um, so yeah, as you kind of see me uh, put down the top washi and then the date covers as well and the um, little side calendar there while I was chattering about my planner crisis. <laughs> um, and I put down that weekend sticker. I ended up pulling it up later because I kind of changed how I put the boxes down. Um, I had the little sticker book from Michaels from Shine Sticker Studio, and I wanted to put, um, there just wasn't enough space up there to put um, everything I wanted, so I decided to go ahead and put in that little bear sticker from the sticker book, and then the little like flag sticker there and my checklist underneath that, so, and um then I grabbed a this week sticker from Mandy Lynn Plans and put that there at the top. So, uh, and then the um, full boxes, uh, I decided to go ahead and put those. Did a little bit different, differently this week uh, than I normally do. I went ahead and put them at the top. So I had um, the this kit. I saw pictures of it on the, I think it was the Shine Sticker Studio Instagram, it was either that or the Facebook page, or Facebook group, uh, where they had put this kit uh, like this. So they put the date covers, and then they put the full boxes directly underneath of it, followed by the to-do list, and I really kind of liked that. So we're gonna try a little bit different layout this week, see how it goes. Um, so then I went ahead and put all those full boxes down, and then the to-do headers as well. Um, and I don't know if you can really tell on camera here how they overlap, but it's just like a minuscule amount, but it's just enough to make me irritated this week. And I'm, I'll tell you, I was looking on the Facebook groups for a Hobonichi Avec cousin. Uh, there wasn't any and they're $68 on Amazon. So I hit the pause button <laughs> just being real. Um, okay, then I went ahead and put down my checklist there, and I did, after uh, I filmed it and everything, I was kind of looking at it, I decided to switch some of the to-do 
or the uh, checklists around. So I put the one that has five on Friday and Saturday, switch those to Tuesday and Wednesday. So, and then I started putting down all of these little boxes and this, this, this probably is what put me over the, <laughs> over the edge while I was doing this video. Um, because they're different sizes, they're different widths, as you can kind of see. And I wanted them to be, you know, somewhat proportionate as I laid them out. And I had to redo it a couple different times to kind of get it laid out how I wanted. And then there was this random lavender colored box that I, I was like, this doesn't match anything. I don't know. Oh my goodness. So it ended up turning out okay. Uh, I did, like I said, I tweaked a few things and moved a few things around a couple times. Um, but basically I just decided to go ahead and use all of those boxes this week to fill in, um, you know, activities and different things like that that we have going this week. And it's going to be a busy week, so I'm sure I'll use them all. <laughs> so, uh, and then I grabbed my sticker book, uh, my Shine Sticker Studio book, sticker book there and just kind of pulled out a bunch of stickers that I thought I would use. Um, and I put down an appointment sticker for Mandy Lynn Plans there. On Monday, we have to take our dogs to the vet. We were supposed to take them last Thursday, but we got like a foot of snow and a blizzard. So that was postponed. Uh, and then we have a basketball game Monday night, which is a makeup game because we missed two games last week. And we also have another makeup game on Thursday. So I put the little tennis shoes down for manual and plans to mark those. Monday, I need to do my memory journaling video. Hopefully I remember to push record this time. <laughs> uh, so I marked that with a little Luna with her pen. Uh, Monday, I'll be doing my laundry. So I put down a little Luna with the washing machine. Uh, Wednesday, I marked my cleaning with a little Luna with her vacuum. Uh, and then Thursday's payday, so I pulled out a little um, doodle for Mandy Lynn Plans along with a script sticker that says payday. Um, and I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Tuesday, I need to do some stuff on the computer. So I marked that with one of the little Shine Sticker Studio computers, uh, the little YouTube for my plan with me to go up on Sunday, and um, the little Luna with her planner there for my plan with me on Saturday. And then we need to get groceries. I wasn't sure where to put it. I put it down on Thursday. I might have to move it. Um, we'll just kind of see how the week goes. And then um, some little script stickers that I put in there. And then I almost forgot that I didn't put down my date dots. Because, uh, you know, different layout just threw me off. So I went ahead and grabbed the small um, clear matte date dots from Mandy Lynn Plans. And then um, also these transparent dots from her shop and uh, that's how I mark the week that I'm on and I decided to go with the green this week there's a lot of pink <laughs> there's a lot of colors in this kit which is so pretty um, but I really liked the green it was something different so I went ahead and marked that and I do have a PR code for Mandy Lynn plans and I will pop that below along with a link to her shop and then I will put a link to shine sticker studio below as well so I went ahead and put down my day dots for the week and that wrapped it up. So, all right. So yes, I am in the middle of a little bit of a planner crisis. I just want stickers to fit in my planner and not have to overlap them and not have to cut them down. <sighs> Let me know if you are in the middle of a planner crisis <laughs> or maybe you've switched already. Uh, let me know in the comments and we can commiserate together. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.